Hey guys, look at that. These are leftovers from the turkey, gillet, gizzards, you know, whatever they have in their liver, whatever they have in the packages. Then you wanna cook that down. You wanna add some of that broth right there. And all this is gonna be for your cornbread dressing. Make your cornbread first. You know, mix all this in there. And um, some onions too. Um, onions and celery if you have that as well. Just kind of give me a little tips. This is a little tips here. Um, normally I make cornbread dressing. I probably won't make it today, but I'm telling y'all the little secret tips that makes the difference in your cornbread dressing. This is all that you need. You know, wash everything real good. Y'all know I do. But uh, cook your turkey and all your giblets a little bit. Cause that gizzard is really tough. Sometimes I cut it a little bit in a couple of slices before because it takes forever to cook. Let that cook down. And a little like um, stock and a little bit of water. That cook. You'd add your everything together, um, all your pieces and parts. And then you add some water, your jalapenos, and you add some of that um, dressing off juice off the chicken. I had about, I added like um, about two cups, so I'm gonna let it stew down a little bit. Then I'm gonna put it, pull everything off of the neck, get little pieces, chop everything up, then you're gonna add it to your dressing. Your cornbread, you're gonna mix all that together and then you're gonna add all that extra juice off of the turkey into it. These are the little tips that's gonna help you make a really great cornbread dressing. You're going to take all these little pieces here. You're going to actually take all this off the bone. See how this come off the bone? And you're going to cut all these little pieces here. It's very tiny. And you're going to make your cornbread. You're going to use this right here. If you can see it. You're going to put that, mix that in your cornbread. Your cornbread, you crumble up your cornbread and you mix that in it. And then you want to shred all this stuff and put it in it. And then you're going to put it back in the oven and bake it. And that is your cornbread dressing for your family. That's just a little tip to show you how you can enhance your cornbread dressing. Hope this helps you guys. See, I've uh, shredded everything. Everything in the turkey, even the part that's around the neck that people generally throw away, all that's been shredded in this. And like I said, you can put it in um, your cornbread dressing. But do also stir in some um, sage sausage as well if we do it this way. This one, I'm making a, 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 a dressing. Not a dressing, but I'm making a gravy out of it. So let me show you how that's done. This is the old school way. Off the turkey, so you put that in first. And then you're going to add a little flour and then your cut up meat. Mix about two or three teaspoons of flour with some water then add it to your giblet gravy uh, for your instant gravy. Make sure there's no lumps and then add your and then add this. goodness oh that goodness oh yeah come on sorry I'm gonna stir it I'm country you see what I'm stirring it with first thing I put my hands on and there you go there's your gravy it's your giblet gravy just let it simmer and it'll be ready Go with your turkey and your cornbread and whatever you decide to do. Take care. Giblet turkey. Um, this is your giblet gravy. Goes well with anything you have on your table, including cornbread, whatever you want to do. Or you can put it in your cornbread dressing. Enjoy a happy Thanksgiving. Giblet gravy. But this is what your giblet gravy should look like. Looking delicious and tastes absolutely amazing.